In today's episode, we will talk about can we travel faster than the speed of light without violating causality? Let's enjoy it. The response to this question is yes and no, but what does it mean? In a previous episode, we explained that if we could travel faster than the speed of light, then the causal order of the universe would be destroyed. This means that in such a case, there wouldn't be a real distinction between cause and effect. Then in this example, Tom is running away very scared because Jessica wants to collide him with her toy, which is just a small car. We can take in this example Tom running as the effect and Jessica coming with her car as the cause. In fact, if we could travel faster than light, then in some frames of references, some observers would perceive Tom running as the reason for the car coming to collide him. The light then defines the causal structure of the space-time, telling us what are our limits in terms of motion and communication. A red photon is moving. We cannot move faster than it. Indeed, Peter. The red light represented in this example with a single red photon marks our limits of causality. We cannot travel faster than light and that's a fact. But what about changing the causal structure of space-time? Hey, good idea, Erika. You are so brilliant. In fact, if we change the causal structure of space-time, then we can make the light itself to run faster. If the light can move faster than what it does in vacuum, then we could certainly move faster too. We could even reach a limit where our effective speed is larger than the speed of light in the absence of gravity. Then, if we could deform the space-time appropriately, we could certainly travel faster. On the left figure, the light is moving over a flat space-time. On the right figure, the space-time has been deformed, changing then the effective speed of light with respect to the vacuum. But how to deform the space-time appropriately? This is a good question, Richard. There are mainly three different sources of gravity. They are matter, which includes dark matter and dark energy, electric charge, and angular momentum. If we could find the correct combination of matter or energy, electric charge and angular momentum, then definitely we could change the causal structure of our surrounding space-time such that the light could travel faster over it. If this occurs, then we can certainly move faster than what the light does over a flat space-time. Dominating this physics would certainly help us to dream in traveling to other galaxies. In summary, it is not possible to travel faster than the light if we share the same space-time. The light itself marks the causal structure of the space-time. We can, however, change the causal structure of space-time for making the light to travel faster. If it could travel faster, then we could certainly move faster than the usual. Finally, the causal structure of space-time can be changed by adding matter, energy, electric charge and angular momentum to a system. All these mentioned quantities are sources of gravity. By adding the correct mix of these quantities, we could certainly dominate the interstellar trips. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming very soon. Continue with us.